I'm Jim Caldwell and I'm uh, here with uh, RJ Wiley. RJ has a neat new device for you photographers that like to trake your tripods out in the water. And Rod, I appreciate you yes. taking your time today. Thank you. And I'm going to turn it over to you. I want you to talk about the tripod. That's Drypod, D-R-Y-P-O-D. Yes. Yes, we basically came up with this idea because I'm a wildlife photographer. You go out here and shoot in a sterile bay, you come home and your, your tripod's muddy and it's full of salt water. And not only does the salt water ruin the locks in here, it also, some, some tripods, it'll actually get in the tubes. So I get home at 8, 8.30 and wind up spending another hour and a half getting the salt out of these things and I thought there's got to be a better way. And this doesn't matter whether you're on an aluminum tripod or carbon fiber, it's yeah. the same problem if you get water, salt, minerals up into your uh, the tripod leg mechanisms. A lot of guys think that, you know, I'll go home and clean it out. Well, the damage is being done while you're there. So you're out there for, you know, four or five hours and it's eating away at this all the time. So you can go home and clean it up, but there's a percentage of your new material you left back here in the bay. So we, what, we, what it amounts to is we've made these uh, 10 mil polyethylene sleeves and each kit comes, this is a kit, each kit comes in a, a, with this ditty bag that they're done with so when you get out of the, out of the goon they're all wet and nasty, you can roll them up, throw them in the bag and pitch them in your car. But in the kit you have four of these heavy legs, and what the what the what the what these do is, we put the sleeves on the the uh, tripod, and then we put these heavy boots on the end of them, and this the boots will protect it from the oyster shells and hot asphalt. This this is an abrasion resistant material, and the boot goes over the uh, the sleeve. And I should point out, this is a heavy duty plastic. This is a spe we have especially extruded for us for dry pods. There's a company in Minnesota that's making them for us. They're 10 mil. The foot assembly, let me take that over and I'll show you. And I've opened up, this is the, uh, the foot that goes over to protect the base of the tripod. Yeah, that actually protects the foot of the plastic. Now, there are four sleeves in a kit. And of course you only need three, but a guy asked me why four. I said, why do they give you five tires with your car when you buy it? So one of them is an extra one in case you do. So that's your spare tire. Your spare tire. Or if you got a buddy that needs one. But what it's made up of is a 10 mil poly sleeve. Inside of the sleeve is a, is a very heavy woven uh, polyethylene fiber material that goes around the, both sides so that if you get something that sticks in there, it has a tendency to want to chase that black thing away before it goes through and pokes into the main into the main one. And this is sealed right in there. That's right? sealed in there. It's actually we take the sleeve, we put this tarp material in here, then we slide another boot on top of that, and then we weld it. Now it is possible when you're using those, you may see a little water get inside of here. We Leave this open a little bit, so because when when you're done welding them, there'll be a big puffy pillow, and you can't package them. Okay, so it allows the air to squeeze back out of there. When you slide these things on, you pull them up tight, and we found we found that the uh, the best place to put the Velcro is either here or down here, and what it does is it keeps the sleeve from sliding off. Once you get the sleeve on it. Then you put this over top the assembly, wrap the Velcros around it, and then you're done. And that still gives you room to adjust your legs if you need to. Yeah, and, and I, like I suggest to most photographers who are shooting this type of tripod, you're better to go up and down using this. By using the legs themselves. Using the legs instead of, because when you're out in the water, you're in a whole different environment. And you can still loosen these, right? See that's on screen? Mm -hmm. You can still loosen them right through the bag. But it's quicker, a lot quicker, just to drop a leg and keep on shooting. And uh, the uh, dry pods, as I understand, are now available from Art Morris. Yeah, Art Morris has them on his website. www.birdsart.com. Yes. And do you have a price? Now, I know this is brand new. This has just come out. These will be $49.95. We had a deluxe unit that we 
tested for a while and it worked good, but it was heavy. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've gone with this material here. This is much lighter. This drops it the weight yeah, almost in half. It would also help on asphalt when you're not in the water too. Yeah, we found, we found that a lot of guys will get out when they're done shooting, they'll, everybody be standing around the back of their cars and all the things will be sitting on asphalt. And the asphalt's been cooking in the sun all day. This is still polyethylene. Okay, now it won't melt but it'll get soft. Yep. So what would happen is when a guy would go to move his car, the guy said, well, let me move this. He'd slide the tripod and it would just smear it. So we came up with several protective coatings and we've settled on this one. And, so, and besides, you go out here, there's oyster bars and stuff in most of these lagoons. So you've got to be careful because it will, it will eventually wear holes through this stuff. This protects it from, uh, from anything getting through it in and poking a hole in the plastic. So with all that extra time, the people can spend more time working on their pictures rather than cleaning off their equipment or tripods. What I'd, what I'd recommend to people, like I, during certain seasons, I'm out here three or four times a week, I don't even take these off the tripod. I just leave them on, I get home, hit them with a hose, and being that it's, it's a polyethylene with an additive to it, it's very slippery. And all this crud comes right off of it, and I just set it aside until I'm ready to go back out again. So it actually it stays assembled for weeks at a time. Well, fantastic. Okay. All right, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.